Hey, y'all, it's Big Fat Reverend Bird here again. Look, I had a few minutes before I go clock into work, so I figured I'd do a video, man. It's been a while. I miss you guys. You miss me? It's cool. So we got another presidential debate tonight, and I just want to showcase the general stupidity of people because I don't think people really realize how stupid millennials are. And I'm kind of ashamed to be a part of this generation. Like, I looked it up, and I guess it's like starting in the 80s was millennials. So I was like, shit, I guess I'm one of them. Listen, you know what? I had an old man come to the gas station the other day. And yes, I work at a gas station. Um, and he said, oh, you know, Donald Trump hasn't paid taxes for the past 18 years. Like, do you hear the words that are coming out of your mouth. Like, do you understand what you're saying? Wesley Snipes didn't pay taxes for two, three years, and they threw him in federal prison. And you think Donald Trump's been getting away with it for 18 years. People will believe anything that's fed to them, whether it's from Fox News, MSNBC, CNN. People just believe what they're told, which is kind of sickening, just from the fact that you can literally look up anything in the palm of your hand nowadays. Even, like, 90-year-old geriatric fucks have cell phones. You can look up anything, and people just spout off this nonsense. Like, yeah, and I'm not going to sit here and go to bat for Trump like he's the greatest person in the world. And I know everybody wants to damn him now because, oh, oh, I'm going to get some pussy from this girl, and I'm famous, so I can put my hand anywhere I want to, blah, blah, blah. Like, look, bro, we're men. We're fucking pigs. If we haven't thought about it... Well, if we haven't said it, we've thought about it. But come on, man. You know how men talk. Get the fuck out of here. You think Bill Clinton wasn't talking like that when he was getting his dick sucked in the White House? It's fine, though, right? If Donald Trump does it, it's the end of the world. I understand, you know, democratic way of thinking and whatnot. Let's let people into our country that are trying to kill us. It's fine. It's not, it's not a big deal. Let's just give them, like, food stamps and fucking housing assistance and all that shit it's not everybody i'm not damning all muslims i'm not damning all christians i'm not damning everybody from any faith you can't fucking sit here and cherry pick because most of these terrorists whether they're homegrown whether they're from other countries hide in plain fucking sight and what the fuck are we gonna do about it how do you fight that it's not like back in the day when it was just us versus them like oh yeah we go over to germany and kick their ass because everybody in germany's bad like it's not it's not the same. It's more complicated. Everything's digital and fucking people hide in plain sight. Like, what are you going to do? But are you really going to trust Hillary Clinton? I mean, you got to choose the lesser of two evils here, man. I mean, this bitch has a proven track record of getting people killed and lying and getting away with it. And people that go against her just seem to disappear and get murdered. Like, I, is this the Sopranos? Is this the Godfather? Like, what the fuck is this? This bitch in a pantsuit runs shit, man. But, you know, make up your own mind. Do a little bit of research, man. Instead of just believing the bullshit Facebook pictures and shit that gets shared on Twitter and Instagram, why don't you actually do a little research? You think every meme, you think every picture on Facebook's 100% true? Come on, man, it's the internet. You gotta take everything with a grain of salt. I'm just saying, be a little bit more educated. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, nor will I ever claim to be, but... I can at least make up my mind for myself, and I know the difference between right and wrong. Do you? Stop going with the flow. Stop being sheeple. That's the problem with this country. They like it when everybody's stupid and uneducated. I mean, really think about this. Do you really think our vote matters? Do you really think this shit wasn't decided in some boardroom long, long ago? Like, come on, man. You, you really think our vote counts? Democracy is an illusion. It is a fucking illusion. And if you believe anything other than that, you're just one of the sheeple that eat whatever they feed to you, man. Whether it's through social media, whether it's on TV, whatever, man. Educate yourself. Do yourself that favor, man. The world's a complicated place, and if you follow the money trail, you'll get the answers you're looking for most of the time. So, you know, I mean, do what you gotta do, man. Everybody wants to, you know, be a catalyst for change. And, oh, well, this is this is messed up and that's messed up. And do something about it. Don't talk about it. Be about it, goddammit. Stop sitting there on your ass on Twitter posting your fucking rants. And, yeah, I know I'm doing the same thing, but motherfuckers tend to listen to me. I, I don't know why. 
I, man, it, maybe it's my handsome face, I know. But anyways, that's all I got for you today, man. Do a little bit of research. The election's coming up in what, like five weeks, something like that? Do some research. Look some shit up. You'll be surprised. But anyways, until next time, if you don't like what I got to say, you don't like my opinion, you don't like my fat face with my beautiful cheeks and my 18 chins, then you can suck on these luscious, beautiful man titties, bitch.